नास्ति मम दिव्या नूतीना परंत एष तो देशत प्रोक्त विभूते विस्तरो मया ओ माइटी कॉन्कर एनिमीज देर इन एंड टू माई डिवाइन मैनिफेस्टेशन वट आई स्पोकन टू यू इज बट अ मियर इंडिकेशन ऑफ माई इनफाइनाइट ऑपलेंस देर फोर देर इन नो एंड टू ग्लोरिफाइंग कृष्णा इट इज सेट अनंत शेष हैज हाउ मेनी माउस यू कैंट काउंट अनलिमिटेड देर वॉज द टाइम दैट रामानुजाचार्य वॉज इन मंत्रालय and he had convinced the jain king what is the name of the king vishnu vardhan and he became a vaishnava but he was so many thousands of jain munis they said no 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 this is not correct this philosophy is not correct what ramanujacharya say we want to debate with him so ramanujacharya when he came to us bring all of them all of them came ramanujacharya put put a curtain between me and the so bit a huge curtain ramanujacharya was sitting and they are there ramanujacharya is actually ananta shesha he took form of ananta shesha and from a thousand mount debated with each one of them <laughs> why he can do that what is the reason he is able to do that because he is a special position so the glories of the lord are unlimited and those who call themselves devotees should be eager only to hear about him as i said again and again the qualification to go to krishna is eagerness to hear about krishna the purpose is the first qualification when you enter the spiritual world you have very eagerness to know about krishna that shows you have developed love for krishna how do you know somebody has developed love for krishna any religion you follow at the end we are only going to see one thing have we developed love for the lord correct right. you can follow any religion we have no problem all religions are good but the result should be there if you are not developed love for the lord you have simply wasted your time that's all that is the purpose of religion you whatever way you want to make suppose you are cooking and the rice is not cooked you say you want to some people like to cook rice on what with the wood some people like to cook with gas some people now what that induction cooking some people with the heater you can cook but at the end rice should be cooked it should be eatable left to you which way you want to cook so religion is a process which takes a crude man and makes him a situation where he knows god and loves him it is your choice follow whatever religion you have to do we are only bothered by the result that's all and what is the result of religion the person should develop love for the lord how do i know somebody has developed love for the lord on a spiritual dimension which is very visible he should have great eagerness to hear about krishna you see somebody is always eager to hear about krishna chant his names read about him he is developing love for the lord that's the proof but he has eagerness to watch tv he has eagerness to watch newspaper he has eagerness to discuss grammar katha love for the lord has not manifested you understand how do we know how do we know another plane we can see that the four activities he become averse to doing because this all eagerness to hear about krishna is transcendental people cannot understand but at least this much should be there you should develop four qualities which are visible divine qualities on a material plane just like you are flying in the sky but at least shadow should come on the ground on the material plane the shadow should be there of four qualities what are they truthfulness mercy cleanliness and austerity he should become very truthful satya he is not duplicitous he is very simple he tells the truth he should be very merciful not that he kills somebody for no purpose 
that is not the result of religion there is something wrong with them he should be very truthful he should be very merciful then 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 he is very austere very very austere he developed lot of tapasya i tell him sit down read bhagavad gita i will read 10 hours he will read tapasya greater tapasya sit down read chant hari krishna chant any work he does he is, has tapasya tapas shakti he is not scatter brain bhavasayatmika buddhi ekehu kurunandanaha bahu shakay anantasya buddhayo avavasayina is the main problem with the youth today vyavasayatmika buddhi when your mind is fixed upon krishna there is one thing to do that's all bahu shaka if the, if you don't take that then you have million things to do i try that i try that i try that uh is just scatter brain what you call scatter brain good for nothing that's why in the colleges and all they become good for nothing actually the training is they destroy them they destroy their character destroy their brain and once the brain is destroyed it is so difficult to put it back on track just like one gamla you break after that even you keep the pieces together and put a gum a line will be there no so once the mind is broken then it is very difficult to put it back but anyway it is better late than never so these four qualities should be visible hmm? so if somebody can put his mind on krishna that's why we say sadhana attentively sit down and hear we invite everybody come in the morning take okay? a sit down and hear actually we should organize our day in such a way that we can come for mangal aarti we should organize the day in such a way the value should be there if i don't have value then it's okay i should organize my day that is the spiritual life begins by buying an alarm clock i used to joke buy an alarm clock then your spiritual life will start because how nicely the japa is done even you know how beautiful it is and 99% of spiritual advancement comes by hearing the holy name that is japa and kirtan 99% ah uh, shravanam our process is very mystic last class also i told it's a very mystic process so if we can, if we can develop taste to hear about krishna and we are developing the result ठीक है एंड वी शुड डेवलप फोर ट्रांसेंडेंट क्वालिटीज द फोर क्वालिटीज वी शुड डेवलप रिजल्ट ऑफ रिलीजन वी शुड बी वेरी वेरी मर्सिफुल वी शुड कैन एक्ट डिवोट इज वेरी कॉन्शियस टू गिव पेन टू अनदर पर्सन वेरी मर्सिफुल रादर ही वॉन्स फील्स पेन वेन यू सी अदर पीपल सफरिंग देन इज वेरी ट्रूथफुल लाइक अर्जुना ही क्राइड आई लॉर्ड कृष्णा यू टू फाइट दिस वॉर ही वॉज मर्सिफुल ही वॉज नॉट स्केर्ड ऑफ द कॉर वॉज टीयर्स आर कमिंग आउट ऑफ पेन ही वॉज सी विच इज गोइंग टू कम नाउ how many women are going to cry now at home when he lives his gandhi vatro billions of people will die and die finally he was very merciful krishna if this can you avoid it then very truthful honest we see all the quality that arjuna has manifested when krishna says arjuna go and sit and meditate about god arjuna says krishna that is not possible he is truthful not like today people are hypocrites he was very truthful what is possible he says krishna i cannot do it that happens in sixth chapter krishna tells arjuna please meditate upon me go to the forest ashtang yoga how many people are they practicing ashtang yoga today all hypocrites most of the spiritual society the teaching meditation total cheating the cheating all innocent mass and the cheated fellow that was sitting there who know they cannot do it still what are they doing now in spiritual life at a meditation cheaters are so one minute they cannot hold their mind on the whatever object they try to meditate and in bhagavad gita krishna says meditate on me that also is wrong meditate on what for sir mat chitaha read no what krishna says meditate on me they meditated on circle point scandal openly cheating innocent mass of people and people are also cheated don't know abcd of spiritual life and they speak huh? try to talk to them you read bhagavad gita chant hari krishna they talk to you no i do meditation who told you some nonsense swami what can we do we can't help them actually we, we have to be honest suppose you are a doctor and so quacks are giving wrong medicine you have to openly say please don't get cheated this is correct medicine this will work 
हरे नाम हरे नाम हरे नाम एव केवलम कलौ नास्ति एव नास्ति एव नास्ति एव गति रन्य था थ्री टाइम्स द गवर्नमेंट इज डिस्कसिंग नो तलाक 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 सो शास्त्र ऑल्सो से थ्री टाइम्स डू ओनली द चैंटिंग ऑफ द होली नेम थ्री टाइम डोंट इवन ट्राई अदर थिंग्स और व्हाट कैन बी डन दोज वर ट्रू ऑनेस्ट इट इज वेरी इजी सो अर्जुन से कृष्णा आई कैन नॉट डू इट बट वी हैव जोकर से टेलिंग आई डू मेडिटेशन और जो ना खुद डॉट डू आई डोंट नो व्हाट यू आर डूइंग नंबर वन मर्सी और जो ना वाज मर्सीफुल और नॉट एक्सट्रीमली मर्सीफुल इन फैक्ट इट सेज तम तथा कृपया विष्टम अशुपुनाक्ष लेखनम विशिदम तम इदम व्याक्यम उवाच मधुसूदना हा व्हाट इज इट सेज कृपया कृपा कृपा मीस मर्सी और मर्सी इज आईज ऑफ फुल ऑफ टीयर्स अशुपुनाक्ष लेखन होल फेस ऑफ फुल ऑफ टीयर Vishidam tam idam vakyam, seeing that situation, uvaj madhusudana, Krishna spoke to Arjuna. This is the first shloka of the second chapter. Okay? So we saw Arjuna is, huh? Chanchalai mana Krishna. Krishna, my mind is so agitated, I cannot meditate on you, please. I am truthful. Honestly said, I can't do it. And what is the second thing? Mercy. Austerity. Show austerity of Arjuna. Tapasya. His son died in the battlefield. His own son, Abhimanyu, he did not leave the battlefield. Continued. No ordinary father can do that. Any person, Arjuna actually at the moment was shaken up completely, but continued the war. Can I? To continue, tapasya, eighteen days. What kind of tapasya he had to do to fight the war? The next day, when Abhimanyu died, I alone he annihilated half the army of the Kauravas, half army in one day, to reach Jayadrata. Tapasya is short or not? Focus, total focus on his what he wants to serve Krishna. Do you think he would have able to achieve what he did for Krishna? He knew one art to kill, and Krishna had given death penalty to the Kauravas and the gang wholesale, plus all their so-called supporters. Now he had to use his ability of killing to please Krishna. Can he do that without concentration? Is it possible to fight without concentration? How practically he was a main warrior on this side. True, all the main people he only defeated or he killed them. Everybody, what concentration he had to work. He showed tapas or not? Day night, what night? Even night time, so many times war had occurred. There was the time that the war continued into the night, and he he fought even in the night. Full concentration. In fact, he had ability to fight in the night. He had conquered sleep in that way. Guda Kesha. He used to practice when he was in Gurukul, fighting in the night. So he was already expert in the night fight. Come, <laughs> he knew how to. Nowadays they have, you know, what do you say? Some, some kind of infrared sensors you can see in the night. Arjuna knew how to fight in the night also. So tapasya we can see and all. We can see tapas shakti. And any other example you can show. We when there was a f- beautiful example in the Gurukul, no? And the Rudracharya asked Arjuna, what? Yeah, hit that bird in the eye. Then he asks one by one everybody, "What are you seeing?" He says, "I am seeing this. I am seeing this." Yeah. <laughs> he asks Arjuna, "What are you seeing?" I am seeing the eye of the bird. That's all. I am not seeing anything else. Shoot. Can I full tapasya? So he had tapasya. He was very merciful, shown by his example. Here, Bhagavad Gita itself shows an example. Very merciful personality. Very austere, then very pure from head to toe, extremely pure. Prabhupada says, "How do we say is pure?" In Bhagavad Gita, in the second chapter, it says, "Krishna, I am ready to give up this throne." In the first chapter, it says rather, "I am ready." They Pandavas can raise their weapon and attack me. I will not lift my weapon. To the end of the first chapter, it says, "I am not going to fight this war. If they want, they can attack me." I will not lift my weapon, and only way to live now life for me is by begging. Because only thing he knew is Shatriya Dharma. He doesn't know any other Dharma. Only thing skill he knows is to fight. That if he is giving up, what he is going to do? He has to beg. So Prabhupada says he is coming from a princely family, from a royal aristocratic family, and he is agreeing to live a life of begging. Shows the senses are under full control. Can okay? I suppose your senses are not in control? You cannot agree for this. How will I manage, my God? 
So what do we see? We see Arjuna having all the four qualities. He is very merciful. Why Arjuna is merciful? He refused to fight the war. We see Arjuna is very truthful. He agreed with the nobility that I cannot control my mind. I cannot meditate. Krishna. Very gentleman, honest person. People today are not honest. And then third, he is, he says he's, he showed tremendous austerity in the battlefield. Agreed to withhold the whole war. He said, okay, Krishna, I withdraw from the war and I live by begging. It shows his sense is under control. Otherwise, we are used to so many comforts. And then fourth, what is the fourth quality? Pure, clean. He's very clean. Okay, that is shows he's... Let us again go. First thing is truthfulness. He's very truthful. I can, he says, I cannot fight this war. Then... He is very austere. He fought the war with such hard work. He is very clean. His mind is pure. Uh, he is ready to live by begging. And then he is very merciful. He refused to fight the war with tears and eye. Thinking about the pain, uh, particularly of the woman, of so many people on the battlefield, how their families will cry when he does his work. So very great personalities. Now, whenever you have anybody is practicing any religion for that matter, if these four are not there, that means the reserve of practicing religion has not come. These four should be visible in this personality. He is very merciful. He is very truthful. He is very uh, austere and he is very pure. Now, when you practice Krishna consciousness, you should see that these four are manifesting in me. If they are not manifesting, we should check the process. We should be very seriously do the process. Got it. So then if all religions are same, then why do we practice chanting Hare Krishna mantra? It's the most effective process. We respect all religions, but we say chant Hare Krishna Maha mantra because it is the most effective process to do this work. And you can see the result. Prabhupada met hippies in America. All the four they did not have. Were they austere? No. Simply sleeping all day. Were they truthful? No. Were they have any purity? No. Addicted to all kind of sinful habits. What is remaining? No austerity. No tapas shakti. No mercy. Hmm? Completely merciless to themselves itself. And eating meat. When somebody eats meat, means he has no mercy. Hmm. He has no mercy. Buddha says, when you put a gram or meat on your tongue, you have no kripa. Just for your tongue pleasure, you could slaughter somebody. What kripa you have in yourself? So you lack even a basic quality of a religion. How can you give pain? So now we see in a different ways that when Krishna met these people, and he, sorry, Srila Prabhupada met these people. And he gave them a simple process. What is the simple process? Chant of the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. What happened? The people automatically became pure of these four vices. Intoxication, gambling, illicit sex and meat. They could easily give up. In fact, Srila Prabhupada introduced this process even in India. This is a process. Krishna consciousness is a process. You adopt, you get the result. You do it properly. Just like you mix hydrogen, you mix oxygen, you should get water. You should get. If you accept this process, you will be purified. You give up intoxication. Wow, Mangalore can give a hundred percent people in Mangalore drink liquor. Meat eating, hundred percent people there, practically hundred percent. They are non veg Gambling, I don't know. And illicit sex, okay, I don't know. But at least these two we are, can openly say it is publicly known. Okay. So then how will the process work? Process will not work on them. It will not work. Therefore, they are generally we see people are so materialistic here. So materialistic. Why? Because they cannot give up their sinful habits. It gets very important. So Prabhupada is open. The process of Krishna consciousness is open for everybody. Krishna is not partial. Is Krishna saying, I'll make you devotee, I'll not make him devotee. No. But you have to apply the process. You don't apply the process, he will not get the result. So people are not willing. And then Prabhupada said, chant Hare Krishna mantra. 
they are not willing why i should chant krishna nama i will chant some devata mantra okay do what can be done so people remain where they were they tried for when his guru gave him order when he was 22 year old and and when he was 40 year old he wrote a letter to him confirming his order again and from 40 years to 70 years 30 years probably as focus tried to launch the movement in india with all energy possible with every gram of energy every resource he had he was in the beginning having the business every money all the money put into printing magazines spreading the message to practice this four regulatory principles and chant the hari krishna mantra people refused to do it therefore nobody could come out as krishna conscious person and he had to go to america and he had to make some people krishna conscious i don't think god consciousness can happen by any other way no no swami ji this is one process you are having there are other processes somebody was telling me you say no meat eating but some devi devata eat then you are not becoming god conscious please <laughs> be clear i told you the proof of practicing krishna consciousness or god consciousness is that you should be away from this four sinful activities you are not so the whatever process you are doing is bogus it has no use utility so prabhat could work on that and he got some ground and he made some devotees because why out of whatever difficulty they had they had so many difficulties they are born in a foreign country they don't know indian culture only correct okay, right? and they were into all kind of sinful habits but one thing they agreed to obey the acharya that's all it does not matter where you are the process is so powerful it does not matter where you are in bhagavad gita there is a shloka mami partha vipashitya te pishu pap yonaya striya vaisya tatha shudra te pi anti param gati does not matter whatever a person's condition may be he is lifted and brought to param gati pap yona he may be in a very very pap yoni pap yoni means from childhood addicted to sinful activities so that confidence we should have does not matter where person is situated he can be brought to a situation of experiencing unlimited happiness in the love of krishna that is krishna consciousness he can be brought to that position and proper sure and then when he brought them to india seeing that oh they can do so we can also do okay they can give up intoxication i can also give up intoxication they can give up meat eating why i cannot give up meeting okay they can do avoid illicit sex why i cannot avoid illicit sex and they can stop gambling why i cannot stop gambling and if the jagan chant hari naam maha mantra that is hare krishna maha mantra why i cannot chant it is from my country only so people then started to execute the process and then when the people in india accepted the process by seeing the westerners doing it then they became krishna conscious the process was always open for everybody but they refused to do because of so many reasons but when they accepted oh, it worked take okay? care so the process will work but enthusiasm we should take up this process and then we will understand what krishna is telling here there is no limit to my glories and become fortunate shri prabhupad ki bhagavad gita ki